In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah the Almighty, the Lord of the worlds, and may Allah's peace, mercy, and blessing upon his final and last messenger, Muhammad, and may Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon each and every one of you, dear viewers, watching this episode of her program, The Revelation. In this episode, with the aid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will be picking up where we left last time speaking and highlighting the verses of the month of Ramadan. And we mentioned the hadith in which the Prophet وسلم, is narrated to have said, when the month of Ramadan comes, the gates of paradise are open and the gates of hellfire are closed and the, 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 cha the, and the devils are chained or handcuffed so many of you sent us asking how do we understand this hadith what does it mean that when the month of Ramadan the gates of paradise are open and the gates of hellfire are closed and what is the significance of the saying of the Prophet ﷺ that when the month of Ramadan comes the devils get changed to break it down and to make it very simple and to clarify it Let's take the first part which says the gates of paradise are open. As a matter of fact, this indicates, if we are going to take it as uh, its superficial indicates, it would be understood that this is to indicate the blessings of the months. And how is it? It is one for instance, during which one of the five principal pillars of Islam is fulfilled and observed, which is the fasting of the month of Ramadan. And also, it is during the month of Ramadan that standing up for the night prayer, which is the Tarawih prayer, is more recommended and more encouraged. Also, it is during the month of Ramadan that a very important and a very momentous night takes place, and that's Laylatul Qadr, or the night of power, or the night of decree. So this is one of the understandings that we can attain and extract from the saying of the Prophet Sallallahu the gates of paradise are open. Also, this can indicate rewards that can be expected to be attained during the month of Ramadan and that getting involved in these good deeds and getting the abundance of rewards that are more likely to be attained during the month of Ramadan leads to paradise i.e. the month of Ramadan is the month of goodness and when the doors of goodness are open. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya Ayuhaladina Amanu Kutiba Alay Kumusiyam. Kutiba Alay In the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate. O oh, you who believe, fasting is ordained for you as it was ordained for those before you that you may be pious. With that being said, dear viewers, let's now move on to the second part, and that's when the month of Ramadan comes, the gates of hellfire are shut down. And the scholars commenting on this, they said that what we understand from this is that the month of Ramadan 
is a month of forgiveness and also it is a great opportunity for having one's sins or previously committed sins wiped out. Having said that, let's now move on to the part and that's about the devils being chained during the month of Ramadan. And this is something that the Muslim scholars tackled in their writings because they said that someone would say, okay, but yet still in the month of Ramadan, we can see that still inappropriate acts are also on the scene. So here the Muslim scholars commented, they said, the way how we understand this statement by the Prophet is as the following. It could mean that it is not all devils are chained or handcuffed, but as a matter of fact, this is regarding the most evil and the, and the most rebellious of the devils. Also, others said that what is meant here by having the chain as a chain as a chains being around the devils this is well this is going to be the case regarding the individual or the muslims who observes who observe and who maintain the ethics and the etiquettes and also the conditions of the of the fasting so it is regarding them or when it comes to them the devils or satan is chained also other muslim scholars come on this, they said, they said that even if all devils get chained and handcuffed, this does not necessarily mean that no sins will be committed because Satan is not the only motive for doing or committing sins, but it can also be the result of one's lower self and evil inclinations. And the hadith is telling us we need to seize the opportunity of the month of Ramadan in order to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to do good deeds that lead us to paradise and also to have our sins forgiven. Said for today's episode, I leave you in the care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and until I, until I see, you, uh, see you next time, this is my greetings. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.